Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 16 of QTech. And I think we're going to work on a little bit of DT fuel today. So I've got myself electrolytic separator set up here. And let's go ahead and we'll... Uh, let's see, I got power right there. Tell you what. We'll go ahead and put it up a block here. And here's hoping that the right side is the right side. Uh, mechanical pipe. And there we go. You're filling up with heavy water. Awesome. You need power now. Which means I can get rid of that. Let's we'll hook those up. You're going to start making deuterium. Yeah, let's go ahead and face it the right way here. So deuterium to the left. All right, cool. You are going to dump excess oxygen because, well, I don't really need to worry about oxygen. And then we have a chemical infuser next, right? So how do you work? All right, so sides and then output to the front well guess what hey you're automatically filling up with deuterium awesome i just need to get this wonderful tritium here over there now i don't think i have enough mechanical pipes so i am like one pipe short oh that's that's a pain <laughs> I mean, it's just a quick and ugly setup because I think I just needed, what, one bucket of DT fuel? Yeah, let's uh, check that out, actually. D-T. DT fuel. Uh, yeah, because I just need an ultimate solar core, which I just need one of. So I just need a single bucket of this stuff. Um, pipe. All right, uh, go ahead and craft me that. Should hear a bunch of machines kind of kick into life a little bit, and there we go. We're done. And I'll just toss them on the ground. And this system over here is working pretty good. I've got these two held in reserve. And, oh, okay, the wood's backing up, but oh well. It's not like I'm getting so much of that that it's going to be an issue. A little bit's help. Uh, the builder's still doing his thing. Sorting system's working pretty decently. And yeah, no, that's actually, it's doing everything it should. I just need a way to basically export ores into this. And then everything will be golden. Right now I'm just manually moving everything over because the digital miner is working so much better and faster than the, uh, the builder is. It's because I'm throttling how much power the builder is getting. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's a world of difference between the two machines. The nice thing is the builder, you can set up to a, a massive area, and that's fine. And it, it can just sit there and run for a while. All right, so mechanical pipe goes here. Nope. No, oh, dang it. It's, I didn't even check. Supposed to be pressurized tubes, not mechanical pipes. It's a, uh, it's a gas, not, not a liquid. And basic pressurized tube. That might be enough. Yep. See, things already filling up with tritium. There we go. You're filling up. Awesome. Dump that out. And we're making DT fuel. Not terribly fast, mind you, but I'm not trying to power a uh, fusion reactor with this, so I think we're okay. Yeah, I don't think the system would be able to actually handle a fusion reactor anyway. Although it's definitely running faster than the... the infuser can run. Uh, yeah, you're... One pump's more than enough for... 
for one infuser, so. Okay, so it's not an actual inventory spot. It's just a place where you can draw a bucket out. And we got a bucket worth. Or not. DT fuel, right? Is that... I mean, we can get a bucket of it. Okay, yeah, no, it's a liquid. I'm pretty sure. So what happens if I just, like... Nothing. Okay. I just want to see what would happen if I try scooping a bucket out. So, we need a tank. Oh, well. Also, sugar cane. Like the worst farm ever, but it it'll work. I've not really done a whole lot of off-camera work between episodes. Basically, I've just got a bunch of machines to get set up, and then I'm going to be doing mining for a while. So, tank, right? I have got some basic fluids, and just no chance it's a gas gas tank, right? We'll see which one which one works. Actually, the, the easy way would just be to put a tube on the front. If the tube hooks up, it's a gas. If it doesn't hook up, it's a liquid. Think it's gas. Okay. Hey! Hmm. I'm getting DT fuel. I need liquid DT fuel. It means I need a rotary condensator. Ah, uh, so close to greatness. Still so far. Oh, well, it's not like this is the last thing I need, so. I will just let that run for a bit. Uh, did I ever teach the system how to make a condensator? Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and do that then. Uh, you are going to be a pain. So, never mind. So go ahead and give me one of those. And then I'm going to probably need a tablet. And it's like, no, I don't like those tanks. Tough. You're going to be using the tank anyway. So, rotary condensator. And tell you what, go ahead and give me that basic fluid tank. And then we should be pretty much golden. So, resonant is where I kind of left off on ones I can make, right? I kicked the craft off, but I didn't actually put it in my inventory. Easy enough. So, next one is advanced. Okay. Okay, this is the part where I'm going to start running out of materials. And... Missing a little bit of lapis. I'm missing some glowstone. Which, that's not going to be hard to get. But this is where I need the osmium crystals at. Gotcha. So I need the... Basically a couple of the tier 5 machines, right? Did I? I did, didn't I? Like, where did everything go? I hit up one for whatever reason. Uh, let's see. Need a chemical dissolution chamber. Which needs two basic gas tanks, so easy enough. And then you... Make, sorry, so I need the chemical washer. I'm just going to add that to the favorites. All right, so I need another gas tank. Need a, no, not dielectric casing, steel casing. Oh, there we go. Chemical washer. I don't know why that's in there. Uh, let's see, concentrator can go away, liquid ethylene. Yeah, all that stuff can actually go. Um... 
pump might not be a bad idea. One of these, which requires another casing and a bucket. So I'll tell you what, make a few of those. Might as well just make a few of those. There we go. And actually, I'm not sure what happened to my bucket, so I can put it away in the system by accident and it got crafted with. And then I just need, need sulfuric acid. Right, so this stuff is chemical infuser, sulfur trioxide, and water vapor, which is water and deconcent condensator. Yeah. One of these. Uh, that's kind of easy enough, right? But I need, I need more. And wrong button. Here we go. All right. Try that again in the right inventory this time. Just going to make a few of them. And, yeah, I figured why not. Make some ones without NBT data attached to them. So that way I can actually craft with them without having to dig them up through the system. We're going to need, I think, two of these. Oh, and they don't stack. Of course they don't. Right. And let's see what else we're looking at here. Well, sulfuric acid comes from sulfur trioxide, which is chemical infuser with oxygen and sulfur dioxide, which comes from a chemical oxidizer. All kinds of stuff. And I need a dynamic tank. So I made extra buckets. And actually, I think I have the gas tanks, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's all that now. How am I sitting on sulfur? Oh, yeah, no, horrible. So I need to make sulfur, which pressurized reaction chamber or chemical injection chamber. I need to put hydrogen chloride into gunpowder to make it, or I can basically crack down pressurized reaction between water, oxygen, and coal. Make sulfur and hydrogen. Lovely. Uh, I'm not sure which method I want to go with. And that's the only way to get sulfur dust? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Damn, I have gotten spoiled in the past by other packs where you can get sulfur like the thermal way or whatever. Uh, probably do the PRC version, I think. I don't do that, so I know why I'm making it. Electric pumps just for regular water. And... Well, let's go get this thing taken care of first, I think. What time is it? Uh, it's almost morning. And spider. Yeah, I should have slept. Wow, I actually shot him in those <laughs> my solar generators over there. Wow. Uh, a little, a little short. There we go. All right, I need to actually be a little more careful with my bow because it's getting ready to break soon. Hey, no phantoms for once, sweet. All right, and so we're gonna go rotary condensator. You are going to say 
Auto output. At the, eh, I spoke too damn soon. Oh, look at you. You got stuck. The hell was that one at? Hmm. So, rotate. And you're going to be concentrating, so you actually need to be rotated like the other way. You know, you're just a pain. Um, maybe like so. Exact opposite. Yet again. Bravo me. Hey, there we go. Full of DT fuel. Cable. Power. Making liquid DT fuel. Shove a bucket in there and it's like, yeah, no, that's not going to work. But at least I have a bucket in there now. I'll come back to that later, I think. And then we have the, the wonderful job of making sulfuric acid, pretty much. It's going to be the first step. I am seriously running out of room. But let's see, what all do I have back here I could use? I have water. How far does that water line go, though? It goes to this block here. All right, so if I do this, there we go. And then I can run water, you know, space mechanical pipe. Over to here, and this is where it's going to get a little on the pun side. So chemical washer, you can wait. Pump may not. I probably am going to need you actually. So I need electrolytic separator. Which I did make an extra core, so I just have to do this. And then I need a pressurized reaction chamber. One of these guys Which requires an enrichment chamber. Dynamic tank, two gas tanks. And we're golden. All right. So there's our PRC. You can just get one more block here to work with. All right, so electrolytic separator, right? You can go here. This is going to have to be removed too, I think. So I know it's going to be. Um, yeah, you're going to have to go there. So now the wonderful thing is I'm actually not going to need a whole lot of this. I mean, if I was setting it up so I could make infinite un ultimate solar panels, then yeah. But seeing as we're short on a few things like spontaneous ore generation, you know, like the uh, the lasers or like even like a Batania orchid or something like that, you know, where you can make ores from basically power or, you know, whatnot, mana, in case maybe, it's going to be a little more difficult because I can't just get an automated system up and running. All right, now, how hard is it going to be to get this over here? Oh, not terrible, it looks like. Did not mean to fill that in. Yeah, I got a couple right there. Okay. It's not going to be terrible. I just need some pipes. Uh, there's that. Here, give me like 10 of these, would you? And this is going to be your input. I'm going to need to get power and everything here too. I'm going to try to get everything else hooked up first. 
and then just run power to wherever I, I can afterwards. Because that's one thing that kind of messed up, messed me up anyway, setting this up. But, I mean, it's just an ugly mess no matter how you look at it. That's just mechanism assembly lines for you. I mean, if you try really hard and not make it compact, you can make it look a lot nicer than this. But, oh. I am actually getting low on potatoes. Look at that. Damn, that's uh, not a good sign. Wow. Uh, yeah, I need to do something about that. How about give it an infusion? There we go. That'll get you running for a while. It's not my primary power system. I could actually get by pretty fine without it, but I'd have to shut off the builder. So I'd rather not. Right, so we're making, well, sulfur dust, right? I need oxygen and water going into this guy. So you, actually, I have no idea what side's going to be what now. You don't have power. Alright, more ugly wiring coming in. I'm just going to set this up top here first. There we go. Hydrogen on the left. Actually, how about we just go dumping excess just in case I need it for anything? <sighs> Dang it. Uh, tell you what. We're going to set you up in reverse. Uh, let's see, where'd you go? No. That one. There you go. All right, cool. Now we have oxygen going on the right side, at least. And I can just go through and be like, hey, uh, do that. Right? Uh, no, yeah, it doesn't like you inputting in the bottom. That'll be fine, though. Yeah, no, no, we're good. And imagine this pump is doing okay. I am asking you to do quite a bit, though. But, I mean, we're, we'll be fine. So, you are currently going to be dumping excess hydrogen. Not a problem. We should, actually, no. That, there we go, dumping excess. Awesome. Now, for the sulfur... I need water and oxygen to go into this thing. Now, your side config for liquids is going to be input on the bottom. Hey, look at you. And we're going to do gas input on the right. And let's see, let's do gas output on the back, auto eject, and can I get a gas tank please? Hey, one of those, perfect, thank you. And we'll set this guy here. Here we go, that's where it is. Dump excess, right? So you are back stuffed with oxygen now. Now, I have one tube, dang it. All right, pressurized tube, give me, like, eh, I'll do 24 of those. Hey, cool, you're filling up with oxygen, awesome. And now you just need coal. And power. Which at this point I might as well just run power across the top. So say that's actually just obsidian, okay. Coal. Mm, I do have a bunch of blocks of it. Let's get like sixteen blocks. That should be more than enough sulfur, I think. Because each one of those is gonna produce nine sulfur. And then that means that you're 
item output will be auto ejecting to the left. Now I need my wonderful chemical oxidizer, right? This is where it's going to probably get a little bit on the fun side. Now the oxidizer. Oh, actually, no. I'm just thinking, I'm like, oh, great, I'm going to need a... Uh... Oh, what the hell, Skippy? Oh, you haven't even finished yet. So it might work. I swear, these damn machines, though, they place really weird. And no. Also, I thought I told your gases to be auto output. You are auto output to the back, right? Oh, that's right. Uh, this tank is set to automatically output out the front. So if I do that, now it's got hydrogen. Okay. You, my friend, are facing the wrong way. Right? There we go. Now you have that. So we're just going to be like, hey, give you power. You're going to run. And boom, there's our sulfur dioxide. So I can get rid of at least that for now. Now trioxide. What the heck, game? There we go. Now sulfur trioxide comes chemical infuser of oxygen and sulfur dioxide. So I need another one of these infusers. Just go ahead and favor that recipe because it's probably going to be showing up again. Now, do I have to turn to liquid? No. Leave it as gas and another chemical infuser with water vapor. Oh, this is going to be fun now, isn't it? All right, so I need two infusers. Which, I just need like four gas tanks and I should be fine. Let's make like six. Metallurgic infuser. There's one. Oh, what goes in the middle of you? Oh, steel casings, okay. I just ran, okay, ran on blocks of osmium. I mean, it's not like I don't have the osmium, just Run out of blocks of it. So you are input on the sides. So let's kind of enlarge our area a little bit. This is why I like building these processes underground, because that way I can just do the thing when I'm ready to. Right, so. Dang it. Okay. Sulfur trioxide is the dioxide from the oxidizer. Okay, it's easy enough. And oxygen. So, doesn't really matter what sides, but it's from the sides, and then it's going to output out the front. You, my friend, are hydrogen. This line here is oxygen. How are you keeping up? You are... You are gaining. You are gaining, at least. Get like that, and then maybe... So I just want four of you. Take your energy consumption down to 160. I don't think that actually makes a hell of a lot of difference. 2,500 are of a tick. But look at that oxygen climb now. So I don't think energy upgrades actually do anything in the separators. What I should be making, though, is... Oh, did I not make any more of those? I need gas upgrades. Really, they don't work in a PRC? Supported speed, energy, muffling. That's it. Oh, that's a shame. You don't either, so... Well, I got some extra gas upgrades again, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to set you like so, right? 
Okay, don't don't do it that way. Do it that way. And then my tubes are these ones. I mean, should be fine, but let's, uh, let's not do that, shall we? All right, so you got your oxygen. I need to put a tube here. You are now making sulfur trioxide. Which is going to go into another one of these infusers, which is this guy right here. We're just going to set you right here. So you're going to automatically fill up with that trioxide. Give you some power. That's a tube. Give you some power. And then comes the fun part, right? Well, maybe. Uh, where is... No. Rotary Condensator. Now, you are liquid to the right, gas to the left. You'll get power. Now I just need to give you water somehow. I have two options. I can run water all the way over from here. Actually, it's not that far, so yeah, let's do that. And... Pipes. That's overkill. I'm not going to use ultimate for this. All right, I'm one short. Make like uh, 10 more of those, would you? And I want you to toggle operation. You're going to deconcentrate. Hey, sulfuric acid. All right, now sulfuric acid goes into a chemical dissolution chamber, which I think I might have, uh, well, like that is not good. Okay. I clicked on the oxidizer. There we go. Hey, sulfuric acid. Isn't this a fun little process? I mean, it's pretty in-depth. Okay, I still had on vein mode. But, I'm going to take these two Osmimore I had just kind of sitting around. And we're just going to drop you into here. And... Oh, because you need power. Doink. Hey, now you're running your dissolving Osmium Ore into basically uh, osmium slurry, right? Now, I need a chemical washer. But how do you work? Oh, not like that. Give me that back, thank you. How do you work? You, you just want water and slurry, right? It pops out like clean slurry. Okay, so, Everything else is called slurry, except for osmium. Gotcha. And... See, this is probably going to be the fun part. Because now... This thing actually has an input on the top, so I'll have to run a power cable to the side like that. Remember correctly, you're actually a gas. Yep. And... Boom. Now we're making clean slurry. Right? Which doesn't even show up in JEI. Right. Okay. Crystallizer, though. I just need a chemical crystallizer. One of these guys. What am I missing? 
Uh, steel casing. Make a few extras, would you? All right, thank you. Done. There we go. We're pumping it in. Give you some. Yeah, that's not going to work up top, is it? Power. There we go. You are currently going to be making me five crystals per ore now. Hey, there we go. So you've got sulfur. You've only got two of those left. You got a lot of oxygen. Got some sulfur going into you. Okay. So you're fine. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, no, we're, we're doing okay there. So, hey, look, osmium crystals. These guys are used to make advanced solar cores. And like spirit crystals or emeralds, which I've got plenty of now. But hey, there's five. And that can then, then normally you would take these crystals and run them in a chemical injection chamber with hydrogen chloride, which you get from salt or basically gas tanks of hydrogen chloride, which is hydrogen plus chlorine. Chlorine comes from brine. It gives you sodium and chlorine. Sodium really has no uses whatsoever. But we're good there. So one of you. Now you just need cobblestone. I need glowstone and I need like 3200 iron to make one of these. So, speaking of which, how are we doing on iron? Oh, well, I've got like 280-ish. Uh -oh. uh, yeah, you're, you're doing the tripling, actually, so that's like 420 iron. Which is not horrible, but, you know, it's not enough iron. So, turns out I didn't need the pump or the rotary condensator because, yeah, no, I made an extra one. Good. I can always use extras. There's that and that. And everything else is just running relatively great. Oh, God, look at you. Why are you not dumping andesite now? Like the emeralds, the shards, I'm used to that. The seeds, yeah, definitely used to that. Uh, let's see. Tag filter green, that's the cobblestone. See, I've actually got a filter for freaking andesite here, right? And... And that is just like 10 kinds of annoying, honestly. Because it was empty whenever I checked it before recording. Okay, stop, stop, stop. No, I'm too close. There. There. Now it's emptied out, and for whatever reason, it got stuck on something. And you're, of course, backfilling, but that's because these machines are only so fast. Uh, the, our crushing factories are a bottleneck. However, I can't really speed it up anymore. Yeah, I guess I could hook up like another crusher somehow. But by the time this thing gets close to overflowing, I've actually mined out where I'm at. And by the time I get everything set up and so on and so forth, it's done. You know, it's, it's caught up. I mean, it's not super, you know, behind. It's just, just enough. Also, probably didn't help that I just dumped, you know, two and a half stacks of iron ore into that thing. So, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's doing okay. I guess I could upgrade this to an ultimate factory, though. I need one of those. Start and then some alloys. 
get like 10 of them. And any osmium that comes in right now, I'm actually just converting it straight to crushed osmium. Because that's about all I need um, obsidian for right now. All right, and... Hey, there we go. We now have nine slots to deal with instead of seven. And yeah, we're caught up. So I was actually doing a good job of keeping caught up and then it, the whole uh, two stacks of iron from the other miner popped in and kind of messed things up a little bit. As you do. Okay, there we go. And boom, ores. Ton of osmium. Yeah, it is kind of backfilling a little bit, but I mean, it is working. If I was having more of an issue, I'd take sort off, but should be fine. It is having problems actually getting rid of this iron. And you are like outputting out the front. So what happens if I go through until you extract? There you go. It can only do, I guess, one type of ingot at a time. The machine itself can. So it kept dumping osmium and the iron was just kind of sitting there. But oh well. Yeah, I can't screw the system up when I do a, a massive dump into it. That did not come out right. Yeah, diorite and granite, all that is just messing up again. That is weird. Yeah, diorite, granite, andesite, it's all backing up. Oh, they just purged some granite, so. I think what it is, is if it goes a long stretch without running into any ores, because uh, ores mine slower than than like stone does, right? And I've been out there and looked at it, and it does take a little bit longer time to break than like ore block or like project, uh, or blue powers, marble, so on and so forth, anything with a higher block hardness. And it's, if it doesn't run into enough of those, it starts backfilling all the easy to break blocks, I think. But it would make sense. But I think I'm actually just kind of pushing the limits of what a single sorter can do. Uh, how are we doing here? You are full. You are at 11,000. Probably going to have to add another, another bank of drawers. Well, let's go ahead and see where we're at, though, on, on this. So... Uh, yeah, we're we're getting there, but still a lot, a lot to iron to go. So. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, we did get ore quintupling kind of sort of taken care of this episode, as much as we needed to anyway. I could like expand the system out and get the rest of the machines set up back here and actually do real ore quintupling. But honestly, I think at this point, my power would be better spent just running more miners and tripling. Tripling is definitely faster. And uh, quintupling is useful if you have like small amounts of ores that you need to really maximize. But since I'm the only one in this world, and I can just like basically just vein mine the whole, the whole planet if I want to, it's not as important. I may go ahead and make another digital miner off camera though and use it to go get glowstone. Or I might, as soon as this one finishes up, pop over to the nether for, I don't know, five minutes, snag up a whole bunch of nether quartz and glowstone and call it good. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series and until next time, the sign signing out, have fun.